Hey, hey, what's up, Fire Signs? Thank you for joining me on my channel. I'm here doing your daily love message for Saturday, September 29th, 2018. Um, I will be doing it by Zodiac, so it'll be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, and then after I do the general energies, I will be, <clears throat> excuse me, I will be doing um, a singles and couples love reading with the Tarot of Sexual Magic. Very, very uh, descriptive, explicit cards. <laughs> but I haven't used them in a while. So we'll see how it goes. So, all right. So stay tuned to the end for more love messages. All right, Spirit and Angels. Can I get three for Aries? Leo Sagittarius in that order, please. Three for Aries. Maybe. All right. The Two of Swords is your first card out, Aries. <clears throat> the Priestess, High Priestess in Reverse. And the Ace of Pentacles. Leo. Three cards for Leo's situation. All right. You technically had three fall out, but one flip, so I am going to keep it. Okay. You guys have the Five of Cups in the upright. The Six of Swords in the upright. The Knight of Swords. And then the Tower in reverse. And Sagittarius. Three cards for Sagittarius, please. Your first card out is Justice in Reverse. We'll be dealing with a Libra. Your second card out, the Ten of Swords in Reverse. The heck's with all this energy? I just did Air Signs too, and ooh, they're having a tough go of it as well. All right, and, you're, and you had two cards fly out as well, Sagittarius. You have the Three of Swords and the Queen of, Pen Queen, of, Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Let's get one more for Aries to equal out or even out all the energy. All right. The Nine of Swords in the reverse. Aries, you guys are looking pretty fabulous. All of you guys, uh, your shared energy is the Eight of Wands in the reverse. Um, you're blocking somebody or somebody's blocking you. Messages are not coming in that are meant to be um, received. This can also mean blocked messages from the universe. The universe is trying to uh, tell you something, trying to lead you in a direction, trying to show you something that they feel important to your journey, and they're not getting through to you. Um, some patience is needed and to continue to work on yourselves so you can continue to manifest here. There's some... Um, some things that need to be done before you can move forward and, um, and to heal, uh, financially, this has to do with somebody that, um, an earth sign more than likely is currently working on themselves. So it is delayed. Um, yeah, this will end in a commitment though, for all of you for that this resonates with, but most definitely you're waiting to hear from communication from an earth sign who left you out in the cold, who you feel abandoned you, um, left you on the outside, left you hanging, left you in the dark, and uh, they're not reaching out to you just yet. So remain patient. Okay. Let's see. What do I want to clarify with? I think we will go with the Gilded Tarot today. We're going old school. Okay. So Aries, you guys have a choice to make, um, and that you are making it, um, you're allowing yourself to be exposed. You're allowing secrets to come out. You are, um, telling somebody how you truly feel, um, with, with these feelings, like you're, you secretly liked somebody and was not telling them you are, um, uh, making the choice to, uh, let that person know how you feel. Um, this is also for those of you who were a secret in somebody's life. Um, you are making the choice 
to move forward away from that connection because they're not communicating with you. They abandon you. They left you out in the cold. They hurt you. There's been a lot of stress and anxiety that have gone into this decision, but the decision you made is for the best for you because when you choose to walk away from this connection, choose to walk away from uh, this situation that caused you so much stress from this person that is not reaching out to you, who is not communicating, the universe will gift you because you made the right decision. Um, for some of you, this is not the person you think it is. It is uh, You think that this is a soulmate um, and it's not, but a true soulmate is coming in once you walk away from that energy. Um, some of you, it is a soulmate. It is a twin flame because, but the lesson here that needs to be learned is that you need to walk away and choose to love yourself first. When you do that, when you no longer allow yourself to be hidden or be a secret in someone's life, that's when uh, the universe brings in the big dogs, brings in the new beginning full of abundance in many areas of your life. Um, they illuminate your path for you right to happiness. All right. Why is the high priestess? Yeah, the Seven of Cups. So you um, were kept in the dark. Just what I was saying. You were the one that was the secret. Um, it is being uh, shown to you by universe that that was bullshit. That you deserve better than this and you're moving forward. No longer allowing. Yeah, you're moving forward because secrets are coming out. And you're no longer allowing um, yourself to stress out about this. All right. Leos, you guys are moving forward as well. You are moving out of a difficult situation that you have been in with this person. Um, this person has blocked you, has uh, cut you off, and this really breaks your heart. You are mourning the loss of this person. This was not easy moving forward. This was not easy moving away from this person, but it was the only choice you had left. They're not coming in speaking the truth. They're not coming in, um, period. And this is just holding off from that tower moment, um, you guys had a falling out with this tower and you thought that they were going to come forward and, um, tell you that, that they were back, that they want this relationship, that, um, that they're sorry they did this to you, but they're not reaching out at all. So you are a little broken hearted today. Why is the tower here? Yeah. You, this is somebody that, uh, you thought would have moved towards you a lot quicker. This is a, a fire sign individual, um, besides yourself that is doing this. Yeah. This person could also have been very in and out, very, uh, back and forth with their energy. Um, not really, they say they're going to commit to you, but then they, they hold off. Um, and that's, that's no longer satisfying you. That's breaking your heart. And so you're choosing to leave these rough waters and leave this person behind. For a lot of you, Leos, you are the one blocking this uh, person because you can't do it anymore. You can't keep being the ones that is hidden behind the guy. You can't keep being the one that's hidden. You can't keep uh, allowing this person to come in and out of your life whenever they please. And you have... Uh, you have made the conscious decision to move forward as well. Sagittarius. You guys are, uh, yeah, you guys are just feeling absolutely heartbroken right now. Um, could be from a Virgo cause it's at the bottom of the deck. Uh, because it's definitely an earth sign is not communicating with you. The, this earth sign um, has either blocked you or just stopped communicating altogether. You have been very patient throughout this situation, throughout this, uh, whatever this relationship was, and you feel like they took off on you. They're leaving you in the dark. They're not communicating what's going on. So you just feel on the outside looking in. Um, you were waiting for them to leave a marriage with an earth sign or with a family, um, whoever they had a family with you are waiting for them to get divorced and it just seems like it's being delayed. It's not happening. Um, and it's breaking your heart. You feel betrayed, backstabbed by this person because they're juggling you and somebody else. And you just, 
you feel betrayed simply by the action of them not taking action. They were supposed to be done and divorced by now. They were supposed to have left this family situation and they hadn't yet. You are still being juggled and that absolutely makes you feel betrayed in the most deepest way. You're heartbroken. You're emotionally drained. You just don't know how much more you can give, um, how much more you can wait around and deal with this energy from this earth sign. Um, you are feeling very brokenhearted right now. Um, they could be choosing to invest in a another earth sign that they don't even have feelings for. That they're only there for money. Um, and they're choosing to remain investing within that relationship and not moving towards you. And that's just absolutely breaking your heart today, Sagittarius. Yeah, you have to um, stand your ground, stand up for what you want, what you believe in. Don't settle. Don't um, don't compromise uh, the fact of being a third party just because you want this person back in your life. When you stand up for yourself and for what you want, you need and you believe in, that is when the universe will bring you in your gifts. When you have self-love, very important lesson for the day. All right, fire sign singles. Let's see what these singles have going on today. Eight of swords. So, um, you are thinking about someone in your past. Um, you could be dealing with, uh, you could be sleeping with somebody at the moment, but you cannot quit thinking about somebody that you dated. Okay. Bottom of your deck is a five of cups in reverse. So yeah, you're thinking about somebody else that you dated. Um, you could have been, uh, yeah, you could have been cheated on by a spouse. Um, this, uh, woman is the scorned lover. And now you are thinking about your husband, uh, your spouse being with, or your ex being with somebody else. Remain strong. It's time to uh, get control of the situation, get control of your heart, um, and just take time to heal your heart before jumping into a new relationship. You have the devil. That person was toxic for you anyways. Don't sweat it. This person brought in a lot of negative toxicity into your life, um, other lovers into your relationship, and it's just time to, um, to focus on healing that heart of yours and... Um, and realizing that this person, the best case scenario was this person leaving, uh, because that's going to allow you to bring in a new lover that will, um, have a lot of passion will be, it's like Cupid's arrow. Um, this person will be all about you. There'll be a whole new passion in your life. So heal from this toxic asshole, whatever it goes both ways. Um, heal from this toxicity and, allow this, uh, third party situation that you were put into by can be man or woman, but this third party situation that you were uh, put into by your partner, uh, allow that to go. There's no need to keep thinking about them. You got new love coming in as soon as that broken heart is all mended and ready to roll. All right. Fire sign couples. This is for married dating. Uh, if you're in separation and waiting, I do encourage you to watch both singles and couples as your messages can fall into either category. All right. One more shuffle here for our fire sign couples. What do they have going on for Saturday the 29th? Okay. All right. Couples, you guys have the world in reverse. So not allowing things to end with somebody that you know you probably shouldn't be with. The Hermit is the next card out in the upright. With the Queen of Swords again. Okay. Bottom of your deck is the King of Cups. So you guys do have a lot of love for each other. Six of Pentacles um, and Six of Swords. Okay, so... um. 
you guys are, for this group of you, you are currently in separation from somebody, um, or you are considering separation, but with the King of Pentacles on the bottom, or the King of Cups, I mean, that's unconditional love. So um, there is unconditional love here. Six of Pentacles, you guys balance each other out nicely, but you're waiting on this person um, to complete a cycle in their life, a major life cycle in order for this relationship to be able to, um, to flourish in the way that you know it will. Uh, this person has retreated. You could be sleeping with somebody else while you're waiting for this person to come back, or you are the one that is waiting for this person to leave their partner. And that's why the world is in reverse. As you see, they're in the background doing it. So if you are the one waiting uh, for this person to leave a partner and come towards you, it is delayed. There's something that needs to finish first with the world in reverse. Um, and if you are the one who is sleeping with somebody while waiting for someone else, be careful. They could possibly mar be married as well. Um, there's a lot of like bitter feelings right now for this person, um, being with somebody else while you're stuck here waiting for them to return. Uh, <clears throat> cause in the past there was, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> oh my goodness. I'm so sorry. There was a connection that was just undeniable. This passion, the sexual connection, the sexual tension. Um, I mean, you guys couldn't wait to get alone with each other. And you're wanting to know, when is that energy going to return? When is that going to be us again? Um, yeah, there's just some major delay here. Um, and it it's all has to do with them being with another partner, them not completing this cycle out yet. Um, they are in the hermit. Uh, for some of you preparing to uh, leave their person, but they know that you have somebody else as well for this, for some of you, not all of you, but, um, yeah, there's just somebody else in the picture right now. And that has to end this cycle that they are currently, um, in has to come to a close, but it is in delay for those of you who are waiting. So, all right, guys, I hope you have a beautiful Saturday. Um, sorry. <laughs> Have a beautiful Saturday. Continue to heal those broken hearts. Clear out your energy so you can allow new love in. And most importantly, choose yourself, love yourself first. And that is when true love will come in, whether it's somebody you're waiting on to return or somebody new. Um, true love is coming. So, all right, guys, have a beautiful Saturday. God bless.